being a realtor in SA, okay. well, well, what does it take? Like, uh, actually, let's start with the age. What's the what's the most appropriate age to be a realtor? So, in SA? my advice to you, if you're looking at getting into real estate. The sooner you can get into it, the better, because the moment you start racking up the bills, taking on expenses, and to leave your your eight to five job in order to pay off your bills at the end of every month, it becomes quite difficult. So the younger you are, the better, because um, because you don't have a lot of expenses. So all it essentially is is running costs, your petrol. <clears throat> to obviously drive to houses, <clears throat> sorry, and, um, and 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 obviously canvas. So the sooner you can get into it, the better. But again, you also must be uh, mature enough. <clears throat> it's not just party, party, party. Sorry, my throat's. F <laughs> so yeah, the sooner you get going with the real estate, the better. While your expenses are low, I was very fortunate. I got into the industry when I was 20 years old. And I'm 32 at the moment, so I'm over a decade, um, and I'm absolutely loving it. There's every single day is different, and that's what I love about the game. It's not monotonous. Yeah. So, yeah, you need to be hungry. You need to be driven because some days are going to be tough. Some days are like, what am I actually even doing? And then other days I'll be like, wow, like this is the greatest career that anyone could ever ask for. So the highs are high. And the lows are super low you need your friends you need your family to support you and if you just stick through it and if you're in it for the long haul for the long run you'll be absolutely fine and you just got to believe that you can always be better and don't ever give up don't be that person where you've you've come this far but and it's only just to get that far just know that there is more to come and there's so much to learn and it's an ever-evolving industry. Um, there's always technology that you need to jump on to help um, you become a better agent. But yeah, you need to be a hungry, young-driven individual. But again, with ethics, morals, you need to be likable. Um, and you need to be teachable. So get into the game, find the right mentor, and just listen to every word that they say. They don't have to be the greatest real estate agents of all time. They just need to be able to teach you and guide you and sort of see who do you want to mimic? Which agent do you want to be more like? Do you want to be the arrogant agent that's, you know, doing unbelievably well? Or do you want to be the agent that's, you know, that everyone likes, that um, is very respectful and that's also doing well, but they don't have to be unbelievably well. So it just depends on who you want to be. Okay, so, so somebody sitting at home right now just thinking, I don't have a car, I don't have a cell phone, I don't have anything. Is it still an industry that they'd be able to get into? No, so you, you need a car, you need a phone. At the end of the day, your cell phone, this is your weapon. Your car, it's your vehicle that's going to get you to the appointment. So my advice to you is if you, if you haven't been as fortunate as, as some to be given a car and a phone, you know, growing up, you know, get a job, make sure you get those um, in play first and save up for at least six months. Because how real estate works is that if you sell a house today, you only get paid in three months time. So make sure that you're at least covered for six months um, and make sure that you hit the ground running. How good is the commission when it comes to depends on the property so you need to understand that you have to live light in the beginning don't go for the most expensive steak on the menu don't go for the fanciest watch that you've seen um, that will come that will come you know there's a time and place for everything but budget be disciplined um, know that life will get better but now is not the right time. If you're sitting in year one of your real estate career, it will get easier. Um, you know, your first day of real estate is your hardest day of real estate. And then the next day is slightly easier. And so it gets easier. Um, learn the ropes, understand the game and um, be, be patient.
how can somebody scale and, and move from just being a, a real estate agent selling maybe below 1.5 million rand houses to someone selling 30 million rand houses or 20 million rand houses? How do you move up? So you need to build your confidence. You know, you, you can't go from 1 million to 20 million in, 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 a, in a week. You need to go from get comfortable at the million and move up to the two and a half million to three and a half million range and you sort of move up, you get comfortable. At the end of the day, people buy from people. People want to know that you are the right person for them that's going to assist them with with their property transaction. And it's it's super important that they see you as a trusted advisor that knows more about real estate than themselves because if I'm rocking up to an appointment and I'm telling someone to buy a house and I don't own my own property already like practice what you preach so I live by those words I've invested myself into property um, and yeah it, it has taken really good care of me and I will keep looking after you know my clients I'll keep looking after my business my game and I know that it will continue to look after me and then are there any like territorial restrictions are you are you as a realtor limited to where you can go and then so, so depending on the agency um, fortunately with, with the company that I'm with law real estate there's no there's no boundaries so if, if I'm specializing in, let's say, Northcliff, and my aunt wants to sell in Glen Vista or in Sandhurst, I can help them sell. Where it's at some companies, you actually have to hand it over to the area specialist for that area, which, you know, I don't think your parents are going to want to be dealing with another agent besides you. So... I like the fact that you know I'm getting inquiries in Northcliffe and that I can show them properties in Fairland, I can show them properties in Glen Vista, I can show them properties in Bessonia. Um, just depends on what are the clients looking for and um, where do they want to be. If they're not area specific, I've got a buffet for them. Wow. Okay, so so what's then the process to like uh, becoming like a sole mandate? So somebody says, okay, I want you to sell my house for me. What do you do then? Like. How do you become the, the, the only person selling that property? Okay, so sometimes some evaluations and some appointments are obviously easier than others. Um, sometimes, you know, the, the owners of the home want to interview a few agents um, that will best sort of serve them. A lot of sellers want to sort of go that, that open route with a couple of agents. But yeah, there's just that misconception that the more agencies you have working on your property the higher the chance it will sell but I don't believe in that you don't want to prostitute your house you want to make sure that you have that exclusiveness at least I know I'm accountable to you I'm the only person that's getting the leads and what am I doing with those leads but now if there's five or six other agents working on the property who's getting the, the, the actual lead the buying the buy inquiries and is it the, the strongest of the lot or is it the weakest agent? Because it's super important to, to buy into the actual agent because that's the person that's going to be assisting you and helping you sell your house. Can your agent close? If they can't close, it's going to be a, um, an aggravating three months or six month period depending on how, how long you sign the mandate for. And, and seeing that there, there's been a, a surge in, in properties higher than 20, 30 million, are these properties actually selling or are they overpriced? So, so there are those sales. Um, there are those sales that do take place. Uh, you know, they're few and far between. At the end of the day, the luxury market in any area will always take longer to sell. You just need to find that right buyer that's willing to invest their hard-earned money or if they're taking out finance have the purchasing power to purchase the property 
but so you've got to create the value and that's why your agent is so important that you actually hire that you employ for those three to six month period um, you know I've, I've listed homes where you know I haven't been able to sell the the properties within my mandated period but my sellers generally don't leave me because of the, the because of the work um, that I give to them it's not because of lack of effort it might just be you know uh, market conditions you know market goes up and down um, you just have to be patient I've sold properties within two hours but it's all it can also take a year to sell so you just need to be patient the right buyer will come yeah you have so okay uh, so 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 run me through that you, you, you've sold the property within two hours was this a buyer that you knew or was it like fresh like how did you do that <laughs> so it was, it, it was interesting so I already had an appointment um, booked for I think it was about 10 o'clock um, this was in Hanijoo and um, I had an evaluation in where was it it was in Strubens Valley so I list the property at nine o'clock in the morning I knew I had the the 10 o'clock appointment I showed them the 10 o'clock appointment it was in the same area I said look I can see it's not the right home for you like they were umming and awing and uh, what ended up happening was that I said look I've just listed something let's go through let's go take a look and the moment I t took them through um, I said to, to, to Marcel I said uh, to, to Bojo that was her name I said to Bojo how long have I uh, how long have I listed the property for she's like no you're yeah uh, 30 minutes ago <laughs> and then I said to the then, I, then the buyer said to me like no no well it's sold in 30 minutes because it was the right time for them Whoa. so it was pretty cool oh, okay. um, being right place right time kind of vibes 100 yeah. percent, and you know it, it, it's just having those those pieces falling into place um and yeah you know at the end of the day the the bars and the sellers were, were super happy grateful um got a really good deal for the bars got a really good deal for the sellers and everybody's happy and, uh, so what's your process then uh, your the nuno process the brazil process what's what what's different about your process just try be open and honest with 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 your clients and try manage expectations um, sellers often want the most for their property which is normal and buyers want to pay the least it's just about trying to manage those expectations and trying to find common ground so um, I'm not going to over promise I'm not going to tell you that you know it's all fairies and unicorns and life is you know ice creams uh, it's not always the case you know sometimes it can feel that way but um, I'm more yeah, just open and honest with my with my clients and I give them an understanding of what they can expect of the process um, I sort of guide them I take their hand and I say okay great step one sign the mandates get a photographer out, do an awesome description take it live and then we let the market do their thing and then yeah and then from that point buyers, uh, buyers start to inquire um, after that um, sh you know you set up the appointment should they qualify it's very important to qualify your buyers before they go through and then from that point um, you can um, establish if it's the right home for them once they sign and uh, you move forward get a bond grant send it off to the transferring attorneys let the transferring attorneys do what they do best um, and yeah the more title deeds you have in your name at the end of your uh, career the better your life will be mm -hmm. thank you for for your time and hopefully I gave some valuable insight into the life of a real estate agent there you go. thank you